Hi, and welcome back to Trifecta Pilates. If you're new here, my name is Beth. Today we're gonna to be doing a Pilates class utilizing one of these small squishy balls. Utilizing a small prop such as this really makes some of the exercises more challenging and helps us find deeper engagement as well. If you're ready to get started, join me on the mat. We'll get started with our pelvic curl exercise, placing the ball between the inner thighs. Squeeze in as much as you'd like on the ball. As you exhale, curl the pelvis and spine off of the mat. And inhale, rolling right back down again. Continue this at your own tempo. Now with the ball, the more you squeeze in on it, the more activation you're going to get with the inner thighs. So if it feels too intense, back off a little bit. If you want a little bit more inner thighs, squeeze in a little bit more firmly. We'll come back to the pelvic curl exercise, to making it a little bit more intense for the back of the legs. But for right now, really focus in on the inner thigh engagement. And one last time to exhale, curl up and roll right back down. Keep your pelvis as light as you can on the mat and extend one leg, take the foot down. Switch sides, extend the opposite, take the foot down. Keep squeezing and narrowing in on that ball. Try not to let the pelvis shift. So just let your inner thighs do a lot of work here to keep squeezing in on the ball. We'll do one more time each side for one and one. Next time you exhale, take both feet up off the mat. Inhale if you can, toes try to tap down. And lift right back up again. Toes tap down. Continue. You can keep your hands on your pelvis if you'd like, like I am. That can help you bring more awareness into trying to keep the pelvis really still. Or arms can be by your side. Range of motion of the legs is really up to you. So no movement in the spine. Just letting the hips free up, inner thighs still working. One last time. Keep squeezing it on the ball. Arms come by your side. Inhale, rotate pelvis to one side. Squeeze in more. Exhale, come center. Switch it out. Inhale, rotate opposite side. And exhale, come center. Keep squeezing and narrowing in on the ball here. One more time, each side. After you're even, one side compared to the other, stay center, roll yourself up to a seated position. If you can, straighten your legs, so legs nice and straight, still squeezing in on the ball. Take the hands behind the head and rotate, rotate, center, switch sides, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. Lift and lengthen up tall here the entire time. Reaching taller one last time. Stay center. Bend your knees. Keep squeezing in on the ball. You're going to rotate to one side. Curl back to that side. Come right back up. Center. Switch it out. Rotate. Curl back. Coming up and center. Keep squeezing in on the ball. If your inner thighs are not feeling a little bit of fatigue, then you can probably squeeze in a little bit more. You want to make this workout effective. One last time. Stay center. You're going to take the ball out and take it behind you on the mat. So just take it behind you on the mat. Roll yourself down about middle to upper spine on the mat. Extend your legs. Now as you're on the ball here, reach your arms forward. And if you'd like, extend your arms to the ceiling and let your spine stretch over the ball. This should feel really good for your spine. If it does not, you don't stretch over the ball, okay? Reach your arms back up to the ceiling and exhale, curl and roll forward off of the ball, going into our roll up. Inhale, stretch forward and roll right back down, easing your way back onto the ball, reaching and extend over. You do want to take this slow. So I just felt my ball slide a little bit when I rolled back down onto it. So you really want to make sure that your spine is on the ball 
and then you have that little extension over so it doesn't go slipping out from underneath you. One last time. Whenever we can add extension into our practice, it's really nice for our body. Reach your arms to the ceiling and do a little curl up. And I want you to stay connected to the ball, but try not to press any weight into the ball. See if you can find that where you're really connected on the ball, but it's like you're almost hovering above it. And then do a little curl up into yourself, roll back down just a little bit, curl up, roll back down a little bit. So really refined movement here. Breathing out, breathing in, strong with your legs. We're feeling the work all in our abs right now. Two more times for two. Roll all the way up, giving yourself a nice stretch forward. Sitting up nice and tall. Start rolling yourself back, pausing. We're going to take the ball out, reach the arms forward, and roll all the way down onto your mat. Arms reach up to the ceiling here. Give a gentle squeeze in on the ball the entire time. Stretch through one foot and reach that leg up to the ceiling. I want you to think about the size of your ball so, since you can see it. That's the size of leg circle I want you to do today. So pretty small. Breathing in and out. So very small circle. Think about the toes tracing a circle up on the ceiling. Two more times. And then reverse the direction, breathing in and out. So small circle. A lot smaller than we may typically do. See how this is for you. One last time. Bend that knee into your chest. Curl up, bend the elbows, and rotate to your bent thigh. Do little pulses, curl up and up, breathing out and in. So a little bit more work for the obliques. Legs staying really still. Three and two. Last one. Center, let both legs be long. Arms reach back up to the ceiling here. And extend the opposite leg up. Taking a breath for yourself here. And going into the small circles. Inhale to exhale. Those teeny tiny circles. Not as small as maybe we could possibly go, of course. A lot smaller than normal. Just notice how your body is reacting with the arms up to the ceiling and the smaller circle for today. Reverse the direction, breathing in and out. Strong with that bottom leg. Pelvis stays still here. It's going to stay still when we go into our crisscross variation. So bend the knee now. Lift the opposite leg up. Bend the elbows. Rotate to the bent knee. Little pulses. We curl up and down. Pelvis staying nice and still. Keep breathing. Three more little pulses. So we pulse, pulse. Last one. Good. Pull both knees into the chest. Release down. You can take the ball underneath your feet. We're coming back to that pelvic curl, what we got started with, arms by your side. Inhale, and as you exhale, curl up. It'll be much more challenging with the feet on the ball compared to between the legs. And then roll right back down onto your mat. And repeat. Exhale to curl up. Inhale to roll down, feeling more work in the back of the legs. Two more times for two. One last time. Pelvis stays down just as needed with your feet on the ball. And just go back to extend one leg and bend. Extend the opposite leg and bend. Continue. Just want you to get comfortable with one foot on the ball and one leg extended off. We're going to try single leg variation if we can. So let's keep one leg extended off. 
you can bring it up to the ceiling, awesome. Press down evenly into the foot that's still on the ball. As you exhale, single leg, curl up. Oh, that feels like a lot of work. Roll right back down. Single leg to curl up. Rolling down. I want you to tap into your breath a little bit more here. So when we do challenging work, breathe deeper. Two more times for two. And one last time for one. Very nice. Switch sides, opposite foot to go onto the ball. Extend the leg that you were just working up to the ceiling if you can. It will give it a little stretch that way. And exhale, curling up and down. Curling up and down. Adjusting as needed. The ball is a little wobbly. Two more times. One last time. Very nice. Take both feet down. Extend the legs away from you. Take the heels of the feet on the ball. Arms reach forward. Exhale, roll yourself up, giving yourself a forward fold. Now feel your legs press down into the ball. Keep them pressing into the ball and roll yourself down. So let your legs be heavy on the ball as you roll down. Arms just to the ceiling for right now. And repeat, exhale, curl up. Try to press those legs down. They really want to lift. Try to press those legs down again. Curling down onto the floor. Arms ceiling. Inhale here. We're going into 100 now. So press down on the ball. Curl up. Pump your arms. Breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Press those legs long and low into the ball so we keep activation in the back of the thighs. Deep breaths. Keep one leg pressing, opposite leg lifts. Let the free leg lower on down, squeeze and engage the legs together, and opposite leg lifts up now. What one side does, the second side gets to do. Both legs press down, one more deep breath cycle here, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Very nice, releasing yourself down onto the mat for a breath. And as you exhale, rolling back up to a seated position, sitting nice and tall. Take the feet off the ball and then come side lying. So ball is positioned between the lower legs this time. We had it to start with between the high upper legs now, lower on the legs, squeeze and narrow in and up on the ball. As you exhale, lift both legs up, lower the legs down. And exhale, lift both legs up, lower the thighs right back down. So long stretching motion with the legs as your obliques are really working here to lift and to lower. We'll do two more times, two, and we'll keep the legs lifted for one. And we'll press us in on the ball, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. More activation now with the inner thighs as you squeeze, squeeze. For two and one, let the legs lower down. You're gonna roll that ball up just so your hand can press on the ball. So the hand is pressing down on the ball, getting a little more arm activation. Lift the top leg up. We're going back into those small circles, breathing in and breathing out. So the small circles that we did on our back, now we're just doing laying on our side. Different muscles will engage this way. Reverse the direction, breathing in and breathing out. Pause with the leg, flex the foot, bend the knee in towards your chest, keep pressing in on the ball and push the leg to straight. Breathing in, breathing out. I want you to really engage the muscles, make this exercise effective. So imagine my hand is on your foot and when you try to straighten your leg, I'm resisting you. So the back of the leg is really engaging. One last time. Let that leg lower down, squeeze the legs together, and push up. Go right back down again. The bottom arm can help you a lot, or it can just kind of slide along the floor. Whatever you need, push up, 
and down. Two more times to push and down. One last time to push and down. Very nice. Lay on your opposite side on the mat. So you're going to take the ball once again low near the ankles and lowering on down. Taking some breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, squeeze and lift the legs, lowering down. So see if using the ball low between the legs helps you feel more connection of legs into the obliques. So we're connecting the leg lift to our center body. That's so important. Two more times for two. Keep the thighs lifted when the little presses again, press, press, press. And if you can't do the presses with the legs lifted, let the bottom leg stay down and go into those little presses. Make the class work for you. Last one. Good. Gonna bring that ball up to you. So the hand can press on the ball. Press firmly down. Lift the top leg going into the circles once again. Breathing in. Breathing out. And as you're pressing on the ball, we just want to try to not uh, let the chest and neck take over. So really feel the back of the arm working, the back of the shoulder, collarbones staying wide. Reverse the direction. Breathing in. Breathing out. Pause with the leg. Flex the top foot. You're going to bend the knee. Push to straight. Again, imagine my hands pushing into your foot as you're trying to straighten the leg. More activation then in the back of the leg. Area that we really want to be strong. Two more times. And one last time. Top leg secures to the bottom leg and bring yourself up. Push up. Go right back down again. To push. And coming back down. Exhale, push, lowering down. This could be small, it could be bigger, two. And one last time for one. Awesome. Rolling onto your stomach. I'm gonna put the ball um, in your sternum or along the sternum here. So have a position where hopefully it feels relatively comfortable. Legs secure down into the floor, arms by your side here in like a, um, goal post position press down into those thighs and then just lift your arms up see how that feels with the arms lifting up off the ball or excuse me off the floor and inhale lift your spine imagine up off the ball and then lower back down again now continue and if you're like me the chest won't lift all the way up off the ball but i become lighter on the ball and then I try to put less weight down on the ball when I lower back down. So really working the back of the body here. Stay lifted. Keep breathing. So we're as light as possible on the ball. Press down into the feet. Straighten one arm in front of you and bend. Reach and extend the opposite and bend and keep moving. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. Now as you continue, I bet that you're letting your chest be heavier on the ball. Keep lifting up and off the ball. We just have one more time each arm for one and one. Very nice. Come off the ball. Let the spine take a little rest. You're going to take the ball back behind your legs. You're squeezing in on the ball. Hands come together. Forehead on the hands. My head will be lifted so you can hear me more clearly. Keep breathing. I just want you to squeeze in on the ball and then release a little bit. So squeeze in on the ball and release. Breathing out and in. So really getting the back of the leg again to engage. Now let's squeeze, stay squeezing in on the ball and try to lift the thigh up. Lift the thigh up. Keep squeezing in on the ball as, as you lift the thigh up. Breathing for two and one. You're going to take the ball, extend the leg, and let the ball reach in front of you, arm extended on it. Opposite arm extends as well. The free arm and opposite leg, inhale, lift up as you press down on the ball and lower down. 
one arm or one leg. Inhale and exhale. That nice long reach and lower down. One last time. Long reach and lower down. Very nice. Let the ball find the opposite leg. Hands come together. Take some breath for yourself here. And whenever you're ready, exhale, squeeze on, on the ball and little release. Squeeze on the ball and release. Feel that engagement in the back of the legs. Two more times like this for two. Keep squeezing on the ball. A little press up and down. Press up and down. I really like doing this exercise laying down on the mat because I can feel if my pelvis is starting to rotate. Keep the pelvis square. Two more times. Two and one. Then take hold of the ball again. Reach the arm and lay arms forward, legs back. Press down gently on the ball. Arm to leg lift. Lower down. Use that breath. Breathe in and out. Reach longer as you lift and lower. One last time, lift and lower. Good. You're gonna take the ball now with both hands. Reach the chest, imagine forward to the ball, legs stay down. Roll the ball towards you and lift your spine up, spine extension. Exhale, lower back down again. Repeat, inhale. Exhale. Now you can really press on the ball and make it very supported, or you can press less on the ball and make it more work for your back. So what do you need today? Tap into that. More support, less support. One last time. Very nice, staying down. And then let's come up and have a seat on your mat. So having a seat on your mat, squeeze in on the ball where we got started with it. So between the inner thighs here, reach your arms forward. Exhale, curl and roll your spine down onto your mat all the way down. Arms by your side. Take a breath or two for yourself here. Keep squeezing in on the ball and pull that ball up into the belly, imagine. Legs reach up towards the ceiling and reach the legs forward to any degree. Bring the legs back up again, exhale. Inhale, reach the legs forward to any degree and exhale, bring the thighs back up again. Keep squeezing in on the ball. So inner thighs, abs. We work the back enough, so this is not a back exercise. One last time. Very nice. Bend the knees. Grab behind the thighs. Keep squeezing in on the ball as you roll yourself up. So your spine and legs, thighs anyways, are in a V position. See if you can extend the legs. Keep squeezing in on the ball. And then bend the knees. Roll yourself back down again. Exhale. Squeeze, squeeze. Now you can continue with the hands, of course, curling up and squeezing. If you'd like, extend the legs. So many options. Bend the knees and rolling back down again. One last time. Curling up with or without the arms, extending. Stay up if you can. Hands behind the thighs or arms reach forward. Press, press, squeeze, squeeze. More inner thighs, more connection to your abs. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep lifting your chest and collarbones up for three and two and one. Bend the knees. Coming onto your forearms. We're definitely not resting yet. Lift your chest up. Pull the abs in. Squeeze in on the ball. Thighs reach away from your belly. Bring the thighs back to your chest. Bring the thighs away and back and we're still in the abs. Squeezing. Pause. Now, you keep your knees bent or extend your legs three more times. Reach forward, squeeze. Reach up. Inhale and exhale. This should be challenging one last time. 
We're gonna go back to bent legs, rotate to one side, really rotate in the pelvis, come back center. Rotate opposite side and center using the breath. Inhale and exhale. We're going to combine the rotation and the legs forward. So rotate to one side, circle the thighs forward, circle around and center two more times in the same direction. This should feel really good for your back and engaging inner thighs to abs. Pause up, reverse it for three. And two. Last one. Staying center, come up off those arms. We're gonna take the ball back behind the thighs. Squeeze in on the ball the best you can. Take hold of the ankles, take some breath here. We're gonna try rolling like a ball here, breathing in and out. Keep squeezing in on your ball. Two more times. One last time. Very nice, let the ball come off to the side. And coming up onto your knees on your mat. So the last few exercises, we were really working with kind of a tight hip position. So let's take one foot in front of you, press down into uh, the top foot, the back thigh, and just give yourself a little thigh stretch here in the back leg, taking some breath, opening up through the hip, steadying the breath. One more breath here, and switch your sides. So opposite foot comes forward, taking some breath for yourself here. Remember, whenever you're in this position, I want you to check out that front thigh, okay? Knee over ankle. It could be a little bit behind, but let's try not to have the knee in front of the ankle, okay? It's not necessarily a great position to train your body to be in all the time. Keep breathing, opening up through that hip. We're gonna want the hips to stay open for the last exercise. I'm gonna squeeze in one more exercise today. So let's come onto your knees. You're gonna take the ball right under your sternum, imagine. It's been there before for our spine extension. So we're gonna be doing, let's be on our knees, unless you know you can rock um, push-ups, Pilates push-ups uh, without your knees, okay, in your plank position. I want your elbows to skim your body and we're gonna hover above the ball. As you inhale, tap the ball and exhale, push back up. The hips are staying open, inhale. Exhale, push. The abs are staying pulled in, so no sway back here. We move down as a unit and press back up. The back of the arms, the triceps, the shoulders, that is what's working. One more time, inhale. Exhale to push up. Good, take the ball off to the side, have a seat, and allow the eyes to close, taking some breath for yourself here in this seated position, breathing in through your nose still, and exhale through the mouth. Feel yourself sit right up on top of the sits bones. Keep breathing as you softly allow the eyes to open. And let me know how that class went for you today. Adding something as simple as this little ball, one, makes exercises sometimes a little bit more fun, but is a reality check. Like what muscles did you really feel engaged in a different way because we were pressing in on this ball that was a little bit unstable. As always, I hope you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.